Hello there, welcome to this Gateway Flipped Classroom video. In Unit 6 of your student's book, you heard about the home of one of the richest men in the world, Mukesh Ambani. Mukesh Ambani is said to be worth £18 billion, and his house is said to be one of the most expensive homes in the world. When he built it, it was claimed that he spent £44 million on it. But the building is reported to have gone up in value since then. It's thought that 600 servants are needed to run the house. The house really does have some extravagant features. For example, because Mumbai is known to have lots of traffic problems, the house has three helicopter pads on the roof. There are people who think that the house is too extravagant and that he spent so much money just to show off and draw attention to himself. On the other hand, it has been suggested that there was a good reason for him spending so much. Mukesh's intimate friends reckon it's precisely because he's a very private person. The first part of all those sentences included impersonal reporting structures. We use impersonal reporting structures to talk about something that people, in general, say, know, think or claim. So if we say Mukesh Ambani is said to be worth £18 billion, we are talking about something people, in general, say. There are two different impersonal reporting structures. One always begins with it. We have it plus the passive reporting verb, plus that, plus the subject, verb, etc. So for example, it was claimed that he spent £44 million on it. It's thought that 600 servants are needed to run the house. Or it has been suggested that there was a good reason for him spending so much. Another alternative is to begin the sentence with the subject then the passive reporting verb, plus to, and the present or past infinitive. For example, Mukesh Ambani is said to be worth £18 billion. The building is reported to have gone up in value since then. Or, Mumbai is known to have lots of traffic problems. In all these sentences, the reporting can be in different tenses. So here we have the present simple. Here we have the past simple. And here we have the present perfect. And of course, the action being reported can be in different tenses too. In the first sentence, we use the present infinitive to talk about a present action or situation. In the second sentence, we use the past infinitive to talk about a past action or situation. And in these sentences, it's clear that the first action is in the past and the second is in the present. Talking about houses, have a look at this one. The house is in Conway in Wales. It's claimed to be the smallest house in Britain. It's said that the house was inhabited by a fisherman until 1900. The problem was that the fisherman was 1 meter 91 centimeters tall. That meant that he couldn't even stand up properly inside the house. It's a bit different from Mukesh Ambani's house, isn't it? But at least you don't need 600 servants to keep it clean. Thanks for watching.